another fundamental. This again is it's kind of like the grip. Once you've started doing it wrong, it's hard to fix it. But if you just fix it a little bit, you'll be a much better golfer. The left arm must be straight at a dress. Here's what I see all the time. Look at my left arm. It's nice and straight now. The bone in the top of my arm is perfectly parallel with the bone in the lower part of my arm. And in order to achieve this, I've got this left hand turned around this way. If you have the left hand turned under the club, as I see sometimes, you'll notice that my hand comes this way, then that bone is that way and this is what I'll see a lot. You'll see the club coming up pointing at my chin, you'll see this bone going this way and the top bone in my arm pointing down at my foot. I've got I've got uh, three different portions to this extension from my shoulder to the club head. It should look like that so that that's nice and straight. That makes it easy to return that club right to the ball. So you want this nice straight left arm. Now on your back swing, just as you start away, it's called a one piece takeaway. It's simple. What we're doing is reducing your moving parts. So that should be good, shouldn't it? Fewer things moving, fewer things go wrong. So as you come back, the club doesn't, the club doesn't, your wrist don't move, the club doesn't move first. You don't do this. Here's what you don't want to do. Start the club head back without moving your arms. Here's what you want to do. The club, arms, and shoulder all turn. The only thing, that, the only thing that's actually turning is your shoulders. You want to do that for about 10 to 15 inches. Then after that, the wrist break will just be natural. It won't be a quick wrist break. It'll just break on its own as you come back. You don't even have to think about it. So, here's what we're saying. As you take this one piece takeaway, take the club away from the ball, you want to keep this arm straight and keep it straight all the way as far as you go. And what you might want to feel is feel like this left fist is as far away from the shoulder joint as you can get it. And that'll help keep that arm straight. So as you come back, that left arm is just dead straight. That makes it easy to return the club head to the ball. If I could wave a magic wand over my students and get them to do one or two or three things that I'd really love for them to do, one would be when they swing a golf, golf club, their left foot never moves. Two, that when they swing the golf club, their head stays basically in one place. They're not transferring weight laterally six or seven or eight inches as many do. If there's something else I wish I could get my students to do, it would be this. As they come into the ball, they have a straight left arm. It would be a straight right arm for left-handed students. So they come into the ball with a straight arm. But I'm going to show you what I see every day, many times a day when I teach. Watch. They come down, and that left arm will come up like this. And they'll stretch their right arm out straight, but the left the left hand will stop going forward right here and they end up looking like this. I'm not sure, maybe if everybody started when they were seven years old with professional instruction it would be better, of course it would. But if, they, if I could just wave a magic wand over my students and they do one thing, it would be in this position after they hit the golf ball. Are you okay? Yes, I am now. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about more posture. So get ready. Let me just watch you hit one. Wow, I got a lot of dirt. Yeah, you hit way back there. So put your feet a little closer together. A little there you go. And straight get ready. Straighten this arm. There you go. Oh, that would have been a good one if you had hit the ground. Okay. 
We're gonna we're gonna talk about your arm position. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, I need a ball, don't I? Hang on just a second. Is this posture, or is this something I should be from a different angle? Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show your arms, but I'll make her turn for you or something, so you won't have to move. All right, you topped about three balls in a row there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. All right, one of the reasons, look at my arms. One of the reasons, now look at my elbows specifically. Your elbows are like that. And then when you're swinging, you're actually pulling your arms up a little bit, where actually you should release. And what I mean by that is extend. So as you, as you come down into the ball, watch my arms. Are they bent or crooked? Straight. Straight. And you, this is the way yours look when you're... And what that happens, it makes the club shorter, right? It makes the ground harder to reach. So let's work on that just a minute. Okay, you want to take these elbows and just push them together. There you go. Your feet are a little bit wonky. There you go. All right. In good balance. Push your arms together. Now take it back with the right and hit it with the right. Boy, almost well done. And you hear your feet scraping and scraping on the. Mm -hmm. That one did. Mm-hmm. So you want to, you just want to, you want your quiet feet. The the rear foot will move, so when you take your swing, it'll move a little bit, but not much. Okay, hit it with. Now straighten that there. You, see the difference? See how far you moved that elbow? Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and let go crooked again. Now, that's how you were when you first walked up here. That's how you were. But see, don't move. Go ahead and turn and face the camera. All right. Go ahead and make that right arm crooked. And, and uh, for the camera, uh, this young lady is left-handed, so this is her lead arm. If you were right-handed, this would be your left arm. Okay, that, ar that arm is crooked, and you can see that the bone in your upper arm is going that direction, correct? Mm -hmm. The bone in your lower arm is going that direction, and then the club's going in an entirely different third direction, right? So you got to kind of straighten that out a little. There you go. See, and that makes it very easy to return the club head to the ball. All right, turn back around. Let's hit a couple. One way, one way to achieve that, good, put your feet a little closer together. One way to achieve that is take this hand off, the back hand, straighten that, now get your posture. Now keep this elbow straight. Now put your, put your uh, left hand on the club. Keep, there you squeeze the arm gear, there you go. Now swing and hit it. Well, my George. Okay, let's talk just a minute about ball position. Ball position is very critical. If you, if you put the ball in the wrong place in your stance, you're going to have difficulty. I have these two rods here, and we're actually going to have a third ball position between them, but these represent short shafted clubs. The second position will be between these two rods. That will be your long irons or hybrids. And then this position, which is right off my left heel, I've, I've got just the edge of my heel touching that rod. That will be your woods, your five wood, three wood, and driver. So I've got an eight iron in my hand, so I have the correct ball position. Now everything works off the distance from this point assuming I'm 90 degrees to my target line. This point here and your left heel, and you can see that's about four and a half or five inches. That's where you want to play your short shafted clubs. Your seven iron, eight iron, nine iron, and wedges. And so there you go. And then when you're in this position, you want the handle of the club to be an inch and a half or two inches on this side this side of the center of your body. If you get the handle of the club back here on the right side, it makes you want to flip the head of the club at the ball. That's not good. You want to have the hands leading. Therefore, you want to have the handle of the club on this side of center. So the ball position for the short shafted clubs is about four and a half, five inches from your left heel. 
depending on your stance, you may be in a hill, you may be something else, you may put your right foot in different positions, but the ball position is in relation to your left foot because when you swing down at the golf ball, the reason the right reason you don't really you don't work off the right foot is you're going to take all the weight off your right foot and as you come into the impact area all your weight's going to shift to your left foot. At the moment of impact your left foot is your main and only support and gives you your consistency in ball striking. The second ball position we've looked at the first ball position which is about four and a half five inches off the left heel. The second ball position is going to be between those two, about two inches or two and a half inches off the left heel. And this is for your long irons, if you're, if you're hitting a three iron or four iron, and if you're hitting a, a three, four, or five hybrid, this is where you want to play those hybrids. If you play the ball too far back, if you play your hybrids, your long hybrids too far back, you'll end up either snap hooking it or pushing it out to the right because you can't really get your body into the correct position with that ball so far back with the longer shafts. The issue really isn't the loft of the club for the ball position, the issue is the length of the shaft. Notice how much longer my long hybrids are than my short irons. So that the difference here is the length of shaft. Now the third ball position we're going to look at is for your woods. And I've got a wood here and you notice the three different lengths of the shafts. So you've got the three different ball positions. The longer the shaft you have to play it right over towards your left foot and for your driver three wood and five wood you got to play it right off your left heel. Let me demonstrate that. Now you notice I've got this ball played directly off my left heel. I've got this rod touching my left heel as it comes under my body and I've got, I'm still in that same position, knees bent, I got my spine angle good with the bottom of my spine backwards, my chin up, I got a lovely straight left arm, and there's my beginning position. If you play the long clubs back here where you play your irons, you'll either hook them very badly, or pull hook them, or you'll end up with these weakly hit balls bending to the right, and you'll be in the right rough all the time. Play that ball right up off the inside of your left heel. That's the position for the driver, the three wood and five wood and maybe even the seven wood. Okay, first take your grip. Put the club behind the ball and this is the sequence you should follow. Put your feet together. Now go ahead and put your feet together so they're, they're pretty much touching. And in this case, this is an eight iron. You're a little bit too far away, but stand just slightly closer, maybe there, all right? Now, you have the ball directly between your feet, do you not? Yes. Right? You want the ball about four or five inches from your left heel. So all you have to do now is move your left foot four inches or four and a half inches, right? And you can sit, don't move. And you can see this space right here. Mm -hmm. Now there's the ball, correct? Yes. Now move your right foot to where it's comfortable. There you go. Bend your knees and hit it with the left arm. Oh, you swung up at it. All right, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Mm, I'm okay. All right. Lean left, take this handle a little left, and hit the ground. Oh, by George, look at that. Woo! Okay, get ready. I'm going to rehearse this. Okay, let me get a ball. Did y'all see that? Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! She's my student. All right, get ready. Put your feet together. Okay, I'll tell you what, back up a step. This is just like you're on the golf course. Grip first, grip the club. Put the club head behind the ball. And square the club head up with our target. And now you're squared to your target. So move that foot one foot width. And now the ball, don't put your foot back. There you go. And now the ball is in the perfect position. All you have to do now is move that foot. Bend your knees a little bit. Hit it with your left arm. Woof. All right. 
Just stand the, the driver up beside that. There you go. You can see it's a much, much longer shaft than this short iron, isn't it? Isn't yes, it? it is. Yeah, you, you can talk. You're allowed you, to talk. I you were talking to the audience. No, I'm talking to you, man. I'm giving you a golf <laughs> lesson. All right. So the ball position is different for the long shafted clubs. The short shafted clubs are different from the long shafted clubs. And here's, here's the main reason why. Your short shafted clubs, the shaft is, it's not vertical, but it's pretty straight up. As that shaft gets longer for your driver, let me have that driver, you have to stand farther away and you can see the driver shaft is leaned down at a sharper angle, is it not? Right? So that requires a different ball position. All right, I want you to address the ball. Now, here's the way you should do it on the golf course. Same way that we saw our last one do that. All right, put your feet together. You want the ball between your feet. And in this case, you want to pull that back. Looks to me like you're just a hair too close. Squeeze your arms together. And you want this handle, uh-oh. You want the handle over maybe that way, just slightly. Now, in this case, you're not going to move your left foot. Move your right foot to here. A little bit more, maybe. There you go. That looks good. Bend your knees a little. Hit it with your left arm. Whew. Ah, George. Huh? Perfect. All right. So, let me rehearse again. We'll do it one more time. First, always grip the club first. Always put the club behind the ball second. Always put your feet together. And in this case, you're not going with the long shafted clubs. Now this is a driver, but the same would be true with your three wood, five wood, even seven wood, because they're all very long shafts. Now, you're good, so move your right foot to there. Maybe a hair more. Back it up just an inch, there you go. Squeeze your arms together, bend your knees a little, and hit it with the left arm. I ought to charge you for this. <laughs> I want to talk just a minute about ball position. Ball position is critical. Ball position means the place at which you put the golf ball in your stance and when you get ready to hit it. If you don't put it in the correct place, you may have to make compensating moves in order to strike the golf ball. So there's, some, there's a place to put the golf ball in your stance, which will give you the best chance at a good ball strike. Let me demonstrate. If you have a long shafted club or a short shafted club, the ball is played in a different spot. The short shafted clubs will stand more upright and the longer shafted clubs because you have to stand farther from the ball will, will be at a sharper angle to the ground. Those two clubs will play the ball in a much different position. If you have a long shafted club, you want to play